Welcome back to IAS Tech. In this video, I will show you that how you can export your existing database with the help of the PHP My Admin. So let's begin. So first of all, open your PHP My Admin like this, and from here, click on the databases and find the database that you want to export. For example, I want to export this database word underscore x. Select that database and click on the export button. And from there, just click on the export. So from here, you can select the format. So there are multiple formats of the exported file that you will get after clicking on this button. So for example, if you selected the SQL and if you click on the export button, then you will get a file with the .sql extension. But if you click on that, you can see there are a lot of other options like CSV, JSON, and pdf and things like that so these are very very helpful so let's uh, start from the sql i will click on the export button and you will notice that uh, the database has been exported and it is added in the dot sql file so now let's suppose i want to export my entire database in the json format so that that looks very interesting so let's try that so I clicked on that export button and saved it. Now you can see that I have the JSON file. Now let's look at the JSON file to understand that how it looks like. So I'm going to open the JSON file in the VS code. So this is my VS code. So I'm going to drag that file in my VS code. So here you can see that the JSON file has been created and further you can format it to see it more clearly. All right, now this file is formatted. Now I can very clearly see that how my data uh, looks like. So you can see that it has created this structure in the JSON. So in the JSON file, uh, on the top level level we have an array after that we have few objects and this object is telling you about some information uh, in the form of header and this object has the table so for example this table is city and this is telling you the database from where it was exported and this is the data that you got for the table city and if you go to the next object, this is also the table, another table that is the country table and it has the all data. So in this way, it will create all of the objects for all of your tables. So this was very helpful. And if we look at this, we can see that it can also generate the PDF. So let's try the PDF and see how it looks like. So I gen exported my database in the PDF format and let's see okay it looks very interesting you can see that it has created tables in the pdf file and now i can share this pdf file with anyone now let's try that is php array and export it now i want to open this file in my vs code to see okay you can see that it has generated the correct array in the php and saved it in the variable that I can easily use. So that is very helpful. Further, there is a CSV option as well. So for example, if you want to import your data in the CSV or in the Excel or in the Google Sheet, you just export it in the CSV format and click on the export button and then it will give you the CSV file. So I want to look at this, uh, uh, look at the format of this CSV file. I opened that in the, you can open it in any text editor. I opened it in the VS code and you can see this is the format. These are the field name and after that it has the data. So this is very helpful by using PHP My Admin. I hope that this video is useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified for all of my upcoming videos. And also please like and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.